Um, certainly in the evidence that this group are putting forward, mm. yes, because it is clear that um, police forces, by and large, are not taking it seriously. Um, I think the, the figures of 14 forces have gone above the minimum requirement, but only uh, four polices, uh, four forces don't have a single point of contact for stalking, despite, despite a government recommendation. I think the problem is that it's one of those things that isn't taken seriously. Mm. You know, is somebody stalking you? We've all heard Ellie's harrowing, harrowing um, experience this week. And I think, you know, there are huge questions about the police um, and I think they need to really work very hard to regain any trust of women. Uh, we've seen and we know all too well the horror that was mm. Wayne Cousins, a serving police officer. We know that there are many serving officers who are um, either being investigated or have been investigated and not sacked for sexism, misogyny, homophobia, racism and that casual disregard for other people. We saw the way the police manhandled women at a peaceful vigil for Sarah Everard mm -hmm. in Clapham Common. Incidentally, while people in West... So you're saying, essentially, that it's not only that the police aren't adequately dealing with cases when they come to them... Uh, of of women being stalked or or other or other matters, but also the entire culture of the yes. police yes. is infected by yes. misogyny. Well, I'm not saying the entire because you know there are many. But there are systemic. There failures. are many police officers who do a really good job, and there are many police officers who will take it seriously and who are, are empathetic and understand it. Mm. But. For somebody to go to the police and report somebody who's stalking them, you're not going to do it the first time because you're going to think, oh, it's just a coincidence. You're going to wait. So you're building up your own anxiety. It's a bit like bullying, you know. You're building up your own anxiety before you think anyone and will it's take a, you it, seriously. Yes, and it's something that... You know, people have instincts. They yes. know when something's not exactly. right, but it's harder to articulate that and it's harder to get police perhaps to believe you or to take it seriously because there are many men out there and, and women alike who will send inappropriate messages, too many messages, pester and so on. When does it turn into stalking? But I believe that it's only become a specific, specific offence in the last 10 years or so. Yeah, which is um, Which is quite astonishing because, because women have think, been stalked. Well, well, and you'd think it would, you know, it would be covered by harassment or, or you mm. know, uh, being a nuisance and things. But, you know, too many times women are murdered by ex-partners mm. or, you know, jilted boyfriends, husbands, what have you, um, because the police haven't mm. taken it seriously. Now, Ben...